So Aldo, congratulations on your appointment as women's first team manager. Just how excited are you to, to properly get going? Uh, really excited, to be honest. Um, yeah, being with the women's team previously, uh, I know how good kind of the squad is um, and what they can achieve and what aspirations they have. Um, but yeah, like personally, really happy to kind of be reinstated and, and help the girls push on to achieve more success. Obviously, as you mentioned, it's a role that you're familiar with before. Um, but what sort of changed from when you were first in charge, when the club reformed, to, to now? I think the club's done a really good job of um, kind of setting a pathway um, through the junior teams all the way through to the first team. Um, so things, things that have changed a little bit is we've had a, a really big influx of, of girls really excited to come and get involved with our under 18s. We're having a new reserve team um, and our first team and the, the interest has been really exciting to see because this is, we've only had three seasons of the women's team, um, got promoted twice, uh, League Cup in those, in those three seasons. So the success um, has been there but we just want to keep building, we want to push up through the leagues kind of as, as quickly as we can with the talent we've got um, and it's exciting how it's building year on year. And obviously for you, obviously being under 18 to manager last year, obviously you'll have seen some of the progress that some of the girls have made over the last few years or so. Um, obviously as in your role now as first team manager, that pathway is going to be vitally important from going forward, isn't it? Yeah, um, it, it's been great to have a link from kind of the under 18s through to the first team um, and I think that will only be strengthened over this next season. There's been kind of a reshuffling of staff um, we've got uh, an ex first team player coming in to take a, take a coaching role as well um, which kind of builds on the experience and foundation of, of, of what we've kind of tried to build over these last three years um, and, and it, it is in a better place um, with the structure and that pathway because some, some clubs don't unfortunately have that pathway they get to kind of under 16s under 18s and there's no first team nowhere for some really good female players to go they don't always have that pathway in their club so um, it's exciting that we are attracting um, players from really good clubs um, that are wanting to come here because they know they'll get a chance in the first team. I suppose we've touched on the pathway between our under 18s and the first team but that also stems to our international academy as well just how excited are you to integrate you know some of our student athletes into the first team as well yeah our student athletes have been integral to kind of what we've achieved so far they really um are a massive part of what we do because they they bring over kind of a diff different dimension, um, different qualities. I mean, one thing I've, I've always enjoyed is the personality, the character and the energy that they bring. Um, and they're, they're all really good girls, to be fair. Like, um, I've always really enjoyed working with them. So, yeah, really excited for them to be continue to be part of. As you mentioned previously as well, there has been some changes behind the scenes. Um, can you tell us a bit about sort of how things have restructured over the last few months or so? Yeah, so um, I've been head of women uh, for a while now, women and girls, so to kind of step back into the, the first team role um, helps with that kind of transition and, and pathway like you've already spoken about. We've had, um, we've had under 18 players um, that have progressed, quite a few of them now into the first team because they've really shown their quality and how the, and their ambition how they want to progress um, we have like i said previously um that there's a, a female coach which is fantastic coming into the next player coming in to take over like the reserve um position we've also got a um a new under 18s kind of set up um and, and they are like new coaches that are coming in to to take over that role and help the girls kind of push on towards the first team and get as much experience as they can. Obviously last year was a really, really special year for, for the women's first team, achieving the League and Cup double. Um, just how important are the fundamentals of last year's success going to be vitally important going forward this season? Yeah, Alex did a great job last year. Um, winning a, a, a League and Cup double is, is, is a really good achievement, no mean feat. Um, so to do that and keep that consistency all season was really impressive. Um, 
we're just looking to push on now. I think I think every season we've we've shown our quality, especially when we play teams from higher leagues, either in friendlies or cups. We've we've shown we can we can mix with them. Um, the season before getting to the semi finals of the of the Cheshire Cup was was also a good achievement for them. So I think we can we can really push on, and this will help us kind of have a really really good league season. You touched on obviously our, our Cheshire rivals. Obviously, we've got one in the Women's FA Cup as we as we travel to Altrincham at the start of September. It must be a game you're really looking forward to. Yeah, it's always good uh, playing Altrincham because um, they've got a good setup there. Um, from obviously being head of, of women and girls, I've have seen how many good junior teams they've got. So they've definitely got a good a good pipeline. Um, and it's always it's always been a good game when I've when I've seen us play at Altrincham. It's it's always a game you look forward to. And finally, for you on a on a personal level, um, obviously back in your role as women's first team manager, you must be really excited to properly get going now. Yeah, I am. I am. It's um, I've always enjoyed working with with the players we've got. Um, it's always exciting because the because of the talent. Um, this season, particularly, we've got we have got young girls coming through, um, which is really exciting. Um, we've we've probably not had the junior ones coming through so it's showing now the progress of the club um, I'm all about developing younger players and helping them uh, giving them their opportunities um, in a first team and so I, I think that will really help us build over the, this season and next season so I'm excited just to see where, where the players can go and the, the levels they can reach.